Hello there Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. And um, what I feel though with this message is there's definitely a fog lifting in your life. There might have been a, a, a situation where things were very hazy, fuzzy, you didn't have a clear sense of direction, and the, the fog just sort of you know lingered there for a really, really long time. For many of you, it might have been years. And you couldn't get the clarity on a situation. You couldn't understand. You couldn't make sense of it. And uh, now you have, you know, clarity. Now you have the visibility in front of you so you know how to proceed. Now you can see, like, you know, two feet in front of you. And so you can start planning things. You can start making things happen for yourself. And you have a clear sense that you're on the right track, okay? Um, so overall, it looks good. Uh, the spread as well mirrors the energy in that uh, image that I saw. I feel like, let me talk about the relationship sector first, because um, if the foggy, the haziness dealt with a relationship partner, in terms of where are we going with this relationship, when is it going to happen, when are we getting married, when are we moving in together, when are we establishing our family of our own, when and what timeline is all of this going to happen? So I feel like the skyline and the timeline um, imagery, I, I feel like the, those line up. So you were very, very concerned about a timeline. When is this going to happen? And are, are, are you able to promise me that it's going to happen? I feel like you're getting the confirmation from your partner that it is going to happen, okay? And this is like for those of you who have been seriously dating and you've had these conversations, I definitely feel like the fog is lifted. Your partner might have been down in the fog, down in the bogs, and uh, trying to, you know, um, secure a future for, for the two of you. And so they lacked a sense of direction. But this is the week where things are going to be made clear. There will be conversations had about the direction in this relationship and I feel like it is uh, taking off for the better or it's heading into a more stable uh, situation. So what I have here is the Ten of Coins and the Lovers and the Lovers is heading straight into the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Pentacles, which is a solid relationship, a house, um, a stable family structure. So I definitely see a traditional wedding for many of you. A traditional wedding. I, I even see like the, the two different types of ceremony. One could be like a um, cultural ceremony for those of you who are um, of a different culture. And then one might be in the church, you know, like um, tr stereotypical standard um, church wedding. So I definitely see like a cultural ceremony as well as a church wedding. Um, and receptions and things like that, of course. But I, I feel like one place serves like more traditional food and then the other place serves more like, you know, what you would find at a standard uh, wedding banquet. So you have a partner where the two of you are amassing together. It's like a power couple. You're both amassing uh, a lot of wealth. So with your combined income, things look really, really, really good. And I also feel like, you know, you're at a point and your partner's at a point where financially you're very stable. So you want to settle down. You want to have a family. You want to build things up from the ground. And you want to leave a legacy behind. So whatever oppositions you have faced, whatever lack of clarity or uncertainty you have been dealing with for the past few years with this relationship partner, you're going to get your wishes fulfilled and you're going to get that stability, that promise, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you, you're letting other people interfere in your relationships. Parents might not approve of a, a person that you're dating, and you kind of need to let that go, okay? Cut the umbilical cords and just let that go because you're dating that person, no one else is, so their opinions don't shouldn't matter. Um, I don't feel like they're approaching this from a place of love. Like they're, they're not telling you, you know, don't date that person because, you know, he or she is a drunkard or um, an addict. Like they're not 
approaching it from a place where they care about your well-being. There's nothing wrong with the person that you're dating. But for whatever reason, um, the family member might interfere in the relationship out of jealousy. Not so much out of jealousy that I guess of your, uh, I guess like of you, but more so because your t your partner is taking time uh, away from them. Okay, it, it's it, it's like you're spending a lot of time with your partner, and you're spending less time with the family member, and so the family member is lashing out in a resentful way. Like you're not uh, spending enough time with me. This person is hogging all of your time. Therefore, he or she is not a good person. So I feel like they're speaking from a place of abandonment and envy I hope that makes sense so don't mind don't mind that energy and especially you know uh, who cares what people say you love who you love and you're going to do it anyways I, I feel like you're going to you know date whoever you want anyways however I do feel like you know the bottom line is the people we care about their opinions matter a lot to us but if it's coming from a place of jealousy and resentment and abandonment, don't pay any attention to it, okay? Preserve your relationship. Um, I'm feeling as well, some of you, you have a little bit of a blast from the past here. I see a water sign. So this is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Uh, very little change has happened, okay, since you last broke up with them. Be aware of that. So whatever the reason that you guys broke up in the first place, and I feel like it, it's lack of reciprocity, lack of emotional investment. So it could be from your end or from their end, but I feel like it might be from their end. They might not be able to match the level of your investment in them, and they might not be able to match your level of intensity. They might not be as straightforward with their feelings as you are, or they might not be as affectionate and as committed as you would hope. So whatever the reason was that you guys broke up in the past, they haven't changed much. There's a second chance with this person, but I feel like they haven't really changed much. So getting back together, you can have fun for a short period of time. The same problems will resurface. I feel many of you have gotten older and wiser. And so you have the tools at your disposal to, I guess, tackle the issues this time around. You definitely can do that. But the other person hasn't changed much. So I just want you to reiterate that. And I feel like you're, you're still going to go for it. Even if you're watching this and even if it resonates, you're still going to go for it. Because, you know, that is, you, you follow your heart. And I definitely feel you have the tools this time around to um, handle the situation, to deal with the situation, and to uh, resolve a lot of conflict between the two of you. Uh, but just keep in mind, you know, um, keep have your expectations be realistic, okay? Um, I see travel for many of you and I feel like um, like that skyline I saw earlier the the metropolitan city um, going to a place with a lot of lights watching the stars watching fireworks possibly watching the the night sky watching um, like lights on a bridge or lights over water like sparkling on the water so you're gonna be doing a lot of sightseeing this week and I, I feel like, you know, it's, it's a very romantic ambience that I'm feeling. You might be doing this with a partner. You might be, um, like, traveling a lot with a partner. They could be traveling to see you. You could be traveling to see them. But I see, like, lights sparkling on the water. So going to a place where, you know, it's, like, by the coast or over a lake or by a river. And I'm, I'm also seeing, like... Um, like a restaurant on a on a body of water where you can watch the lights and and uh, sparkle it's really romantic and I, I definitely see like you're not there alone you're definitely with like a love interest or a romantic interest or a relationship partner
what I'm feeling as well uh, with this energy about the fog lifting the fog is rising it's it's like it was very dense and so it, it rested near the ground and then it's like rising and moving up into the sky so it's definitely clearing up but I see this this uh, imagery about rising so what I do feel though is um, your standards and your expectations have really risen okay um, I see a lot of growth and a lot of um, like I mentioned earlier older and wiser what you used to tolerate in people you don't tolerate anymore you're getting definitely um, like just older and wiser and you're a lot more discerning about what types of behavior you put up with you're definitely you're definitely coming into a sense of I, I feel like um, having a, a being able to figure people out faster and then being very curt about behaviors or things that you won't tolerate in other people so I, I definitely feel this energy here about you know um, expressing yourself and being able to especially like selfishness from other people not tolerating it and if somebody is going to exhibit very selfish or just you know self-absorbed behavior you're going to mirror that back at them and um, I, I feel like this is coming in from people who are very opportunistic they might have you know come to you and taken from you or they might have like uh, pretended to be your friend and all they did was take 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 and when you meet them they were never around so I, I feel like you're closing off that that um, that door to allow them to come into the picture and I feel like it's more friendship related okay like fake friends I, I feel like you know who they are and I also feel for many of you you hang out in very large groups so it's like you have a large group of friends and you might have mutual friends with one another or you know like you've accumulated friends since childhood and they've accumulated friends so when you hang out it's like a, a, a big group and when you have like um, get together there's a big group so you have your solid core group of friends but then there are also friends that they have that you might not have always jived well with but you've always been very cordial but I definitely see some things coming to light about you know this person is not very generous or this person is a taker or this person is um, is or this person is just you know manipulative or whatever the situation is so I feel like you've always seen it but you've always been cordial because they are a friend of your friend so this is the the week where I feel like you're gonna make your feelings known and you're gonna be closing your emotions off to this person because they 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 have proven time and time again that they're not going to you know be the person that you want to, in your life okay um, yeah I, I see a lot of travel a lot of movement with this spread and I feel like you know you, you need to get away I, I don't know why but I feel like the work situation hasn't been too great um, I see a little bit of isolation in the work environment not feeling like that sense of camaraderie not feeling like you belong not feeling like you're you stand out in some way and Aries you guys have to stand out in some way for you to feel at peace at home and and to feel like you know you belong so I, I I feel this element about you know work has got you down um, and I feel like you know your refuge might be home might be family might be you know your lovers your significant other uh, your friends and especially traveling looking at new sites uh, looking at new, new things and being able to see new horizons new new ventures and especially new things that you can work towards um, 
whatever it is with family members as well you know you love them but they <laughs> you you have really strong person the people in your family family they have really strong uh, personalities I see kind of like if you ever get together with your family everyone has an opinion everyone has an opinion no one's very passive or even passive aggressive everyone likes to tell each other what to do everyone's really bossy everyone's just very highly opinionated and uh, you know so of course they're gonna tell you like down to what to wear they're gonna tell you you know you should you should not date who uh, such and such you should not wear this you should not wear that you should do this you should do that so you know it's it's all it's just something that they do because they have very very strong opinions but it's hard for you not to take it to heart I feel like you know you're gonna do what you're gonna do but it's really hard for you to not take it to heart especially when somebody says it so uh, with such conviction right the, the most convincing things that people can do is you know um, uh, it, they can convince through their sheer sense of conviction so it's not so much the information that's presented it's just the way that they they present the information it is the the tone the attitude the demeanor so it makes you feel like hey maybe they're right but no stick to your guns you're you're with this person for a reason and I, I just feel like you know family interfering in everything um, family interfering some of you come from like blended families, you know, stepmom, stepdad, step siblings, and, and things like that. Others of you, I feel like there might have been like a divorce um, situation too, where you have children with an ex, and then you have to kind of um, co parent. So it, it, it can get a little bit messy. I wouldn't say messy, just complicated. It is complicated, right? And it's challenging. We don't want to step on people's toes. They don't want to step on your toes. So it can get like, diff it can become difficult. So I, I just feel like, you know, there's just a lot of people meddling. Um, I'm also feeling as well. I, I started talking about this and then I got sidetracked. Um, raising your standards okay so once again this um, I started saying you are um, getting older and wiser so I feel like whatever you tolerated in the past with relationship partner you're not tolerating anymore and so I'm taken back to this person who is coming back into the picture and I just feel like yes you can work at things because now you have a lot more self-awareness um, you will behave differently to make sure the relationship work but if the other person hasn't changed then we're going around in circles so I feel like the relationship needs to be worked at by both people not just you you can force it you can try to single-handedly force it or you can you know single-handedly try to make it work but if the other person we like falls so madly in love it tends to be with the wrong person because we haven't taken the time to really get to know them before we give a heart away so I feel like you're definitely being protective of your heart um, for those who are single and dating be a little bit more discerning this week okay things are not what they seem and I feel like by the end of the week you're gonna start to see that fog lifting so be a little bit discerning for those in relationships I definitely see an escalation in the love in the commitment in the 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 planning of the next step in this relationship so it looks really beautiful um, Aries I hope you enjoy your week um, I will see you guys soon and uh, best of luck with everything I'll see you next week bye bye